Hello guys, good morning. Oh god, ang lalaki ng project na ginawa ko lately, kaya hindi ako makapag-vlog talaga. Kaya to all of my daily viewers sa aking YouTube channel, sorry for that. May mga araw na hindi ako nakakapag-upload. Hi, welcome to Indulgas Beauty Salon. Come and experience our services for a total pampering and relaxing feelings. For all this work, look no further. Visit Indulgas Beauty Salon now. Good morning. Bakit may ibon sa loob ng office? Hello, birdie! Oh! Okay guys, so since it's holiday, ito konting chill muna kami with Mama Larry. Kakanta daw kami. Lonely child alone and wild I can't be maker song Yalla! 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 Hindi ka makita. Okay guys, so ito kasama ko po si Mama. si hello. Hello. Ayan nyo nga lang, hindi kasi pwede mag, ano, mag vlog sa loob. Hindi pwede mag video. Okay. So guys, dito, dito po. Dito sa World Trade Center. Sa World Trade Center. So, this is perfect to those who are nagtatrapaho sa mga travel agencies. Kasi nga, you will get connections from different hotels, tours, and uh, mga B2B. Okay, so we're going here guys to rise me up for the press conference for, of course, a famous Filipino YouTuber and other than Mikey Bustos. Okay guys, so Mikey Bustos is here for the uh, press conference for this event. What's going on, Ibon? Your Pinoy boy Mikey Bustos here in Dubai. You know what? This is my very first time in the Middle East. Oh, welcome! And I love meeting you guys. Yes, it's so awesome here. And I just want to invite you guys to the concert natin, namin. Sorry, my Tagalog is very <laughs> limited. Uh, please come. It's April 27th. That's uh -huh. thir Thursday night. Uh, sa Sheikh Rashid Auditorium. And I hope you can come. It, tickets are available at all UAE exchange mm -hmm. locations throughout UAE. Come. We'll go celebrate being Pinoy. Mm -hmm. Music, comedy, dancing. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yes. Hope to see you there. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, the is growing. <laughs> I like this. Bye. Don't be shy. My <laughs> <laughs> personal touch on service, Madam Daisy. Yes. Popular blogger. Hi, Ian. Jung, get the second one. May winner ka na? <laughs> Welcome to Golf News and X Media. Golf News and X Media. Ate kanya invite your fans to come to your show. Ay hindi ba ikaw? And then we saw some like teenagers and adults playing cricket. Yeah. I've never seen anyone play cricket in my life. Really? Yeah. I'm like, I love this area. 
Yeah. Yeah. David, you should bring him to Satwa tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. And look for Junior there. Yeah, come to my place. Yeah, that's good idea. Yeah. I will let you try Jalibi. Jalibi. So pinoy. Yeah, but you should know you want to look at the Lakanito na. Yeah, there, there are a lot of Filip small Filipino restaurants or even non Filipino owner, but they're selling Filipino food. And then I remember on the first day, we hear like the, you know, that chanting from the mosque? Yeah. That was really cool. I'm like, guys, wow, this is. Really cool. so oh, yeah, at least. So what time, Koya? We're visiting the school later on. Mm. Yeah, and I'm gonna wear the what's it called? Uh, Kandura. Oh. Barbecue. Uh, barbecue chicken. Yeah, yeah, they have isa also. But they have the best uh, chicken barbecue in UAE, the Ihawan restaurant. It tastes like baboy. <laughs> I don't know, it's really soft and the uh, you, you went there and you went there as well. This lady. <laughs> Barbecue chicken. You should try that. You should visit the Yawan restaurant soon. You're gonna wear a wig? <laughs> um, I kinda wanna give it a surprise, but I can tell you that it's not gonna be like a typical Filipino concert. Oh, okay. Just like our videos are not really typical Filipino vlog videos. So we like to throw different surprises. And maybe you might get Pasalubong, I don't know. Pasalubong? Yeah. Um, there's dancing, choreography, singing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, costumes. I would say I found music comedy. What is it like? Found music comedy now. With serious songs, then with yeah, there's between with a lot of dancing changes. Then I'm like, what's that? What's that? Here? Um, if I have time, yeah, I'd like to, but I'm sure I'm gonna be back. If not. So How long have you been doing that videos that you have been doing? I think I started to, uh, 2011, January 1. And what made you decide to create this kind of content? Because uh, at that time, I wanted to promote my singing. <laughs> okay. And then I uploaded a video every single day. Because at that time, there was Justin Bieber, Sharice Pampenko, Arnel Canera. They were being discovered on YouTube. So I'm like, hey, I'll do it too. If I upload one video every day, I'll have 365 videos by the end of the year, <laughs> and one of them maybe will the go there. viral. Uh -huh. And then one did in February 25, and it was a Filipino accent tutorial of all things. Right. So then I was launched as a comedian, and then I eventually started injecting music and in stuff. So now I'm doing comedy, music, and just everything. Yeah. And acting, it's kind of fun. But have uh, you stopped doing the Filipino tutorial videos that you have? Um, I, the Filipino tutorial videos are still, they're just repackaged okay. into parodies because the parodies oh, okay. are also still tutorials, they're just yeah. different formats. So if you look at the material, it's all the same stuff, mm -hmm. it's just prepackaged differently. With singing time. now? Huh? Uh, collaborating with singing now? Yeah, collaborating with singing now. Now we're doing vlogs, which I also talk about Filipino culture in too, right? Yeah. So it's just, it's changing over time. That's a secret to surviving internet. Just yeah. keep changing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, recently, your videos are also promoting tourism in the Philippines. Yeah. Right. So, what motivates you to do that? I I indirectly, you're promoting it to not only foreign uh, tourists but also for us OFWs who have not really been all around the Philippines. Uh, well, I one of the things I discovered about moving to Philippines is that the Philippines is a beautiful country, like a big wealth of like landscape and just it's amazing and people haven't seen it you know like i went to bathe in the waterfall in dumguete mm. you know and mm. like just random places in the philippines that are just paradises that we north americans have to pay or maybe middle easterns yeah. have to pay thousands of dollars to visit we have it yeah. in our own backyard so i said hey we, people need to see this kind of stuff Okay, and uh, I have a question. Uh, okay. Why do you think for singers it is very important that they have to like share their talent on YouTube? Why? Yeah. Um, well, I think anybody should share their talent, no matter what it is. Okay. If you want to do it through YouTube, that's a great way. Mm -hmm. um, and I love YouTube because it's a purist platform. It's not like 
you know, executives from yeah, the TV true. network sees you and they want to pump money into you and put you through the showbiz machine and that's how you become famous. No. Oh, yeah. It's like you broadcast yourself and the people judge who they want to shine. You know? yeah. So it's really a purist platform, which is great for artists. So if you're a singer out there, do it. Go through YouTube. <laughs> See? Yeah. It's like the opposite. Like showbiz, it's like the executive shove artists down your yeah. throat and then pick you like them because you just see them everywhere. Right? Whereas YouTube, it's like you choose who you like. It's so pure. But do you still get some like uh, bad comments or trash mouths from mm. your YouTube videos? Because I know that's normal for YouTubers, right? It's normal, yeah. How do you, you don't get as much? Mm. Because what, you're going to hate on Filipino pride? I don't think so, right? So um, we get minimal, but I know a lot of YouTubers get a lot. But I mean, when you get hate, it's still good because when they leave bad comments, your supporters comment on their comments and defend you. And you know, it, it, it improves your, your, the, the clout score of your video and it helps promote your video. So, you know, all of these YouTubers who buy houses from their paychecks from YouTube, it's partly because of the haters as well. Okay. Uh, what really is Filipino pride, proud to be Pinoy. We see a lot of these comments yeah. everywhere. Whenever somebody famous or somebody of uh, Filipino descent is doing something famous online, yeah. So people are just commenting, proud to be Pinoy, and some of them are ranting about those yeah. commenters. Well, I think Filipino pride is something different from most cultures' pride because you don't see Italians wrapping the Italian flag around Madonna or you know what I mean but Filipinos we know if there's like an inch of blood of mm. Pinoy blood in Bruno Mars for example right. you know what yeah. I mean so Filipino pride is a bit different from other national prides yeah. I think um, and for me I'm I thought I had Filipino pride growing up in Toronto but I didn't really know fully what Pinoy pride was till I moved to Philippines and mm. discovered what the Pinoy mentality is like, Pinoy spirit, you know, how we strive and we succeed, you know, that's, there's a whole spirit there that I discovered in Philippines that I think I'm proud of. Mm -hmm. And I think that's maybe the essence of Filipino pride, being able to succeed no matter what, right? right. Look at you guys, you guys are living here, yeah, good vibes in Dubai, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's it. It's something to be proud of. Yeah, so there's something to do with striving to be maybe in the global stage, perhaps being yeah, competitive sure. or in the global. you can even strive to be good in the yeah. Philippines too. Mm -hmm. in anywhere, it's really about striving and succeeding. Mm -hmm. Whereas I find other countries don't have that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. How long have you guys been blogging or blogging? Seven years. Senior myself. Yeah, seven wow, years. That's a long time. You were ahead of the game. Not really. He's an icon. For us, yeah, he's an icon for, for blogging. It just so happened that I, I grabbed the boydubai.com domain name. Because I'm not really frequently writing these days, especially. So, you know, uh, the, the name has a recall. And if you say boy Dubai, like in the Philippines, you say boy toothpick, boy bawa, boy whatsoever. It's like ownership of the succeeding word, right? So it just so happened. That and if you type Dubai, your name is showing up. All right. First page on Google. That's everyone's yeah. dream. Right? And that's really challenging. And, uh, <laughs> that's why you should start YouTube because if you are a YouTube partner, your videos are prioritized. No, no, it's your okay. Okay, all right. Boy sa Dubai. I am boy Dubai. He is boy sa Dubai. Yeah. Right. I'm sharing my yeah, life. Yeah, right? It's a daily life vlog. Oh, good. It's daily too. Yeah, it's daily. Oh, yeah. Good for you. It's it's tipa. So it's, no much of editing. Sure. Just raw. Yeah. Or else I'll be tired. It's easier to do video, right? Than writing. Because in writing, you have to be the composer of your mind. Have time. Find the time. <laughs> no, I think he's also using a Dubai in his name, right? See? <laughs> when you're in Canada, still in Canada, you're already watching these videos from the Philippines, teleseries, movies, because you, you, you have quite a lot of ideas when you, start, you, when you do your videos about the culture. Um, I, well, my parents always had Filipino TV on in the living room, and I'd always look, I'm like, okay, who's that? You know? But my brother and I never spoke the dialogue at home, so we didn't understand the language. But I said I would look, you know, and then what most people don't know too is before YouTube, I was trying to make it in Filipino showbiz. 
So I made two or three trips to Philippines to uh -huh. try to get deals and stuff. Uh -huh. um, but failed. I didn't get any deal. But while I was there, I was able to see who was hot at the time. He says thank you. And like the, the hottest artists back then were Sam Milby. And for females, it was... Um, like, and Curtis was still right. It was Bea Alonsa. Bea Alonsa, was hot yeah. Back then, in those days. Angel Luxine, maybe. Yeah, so mm. I would stick them in my my comedy oh yeah, yeah. yeah. and then yeah. like i went one time to a mall and there was no toilet paper and i'm like hey this is good comedy that I <laughs> yeah. right so that's why i know about that stuff because mm -hmm. i have made trips have you had a chance to meet uh, christine gambito happy sleep no but uh when my videos started going viral we skyped you and skyped, she's yeah. great yeah she's uh, no no collaboration yet with her right. no not yet i know i should yeah because she's, she's crazy and you're she's crazy the <laughs> She, she wants this crazy I, I and his crazy. Yeah, yeah. Right. I do what she started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. into acting now, right? Yeah, well, yeah. And she's got a family, family vlogging now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's really great. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's legend. You guys are legend. <laughs> oh, happy sleep. Yeah, she's happy married. Sleep. Yeah. Christine married. Yeah. Married. Yeah. I think she lives in California now. Did she stop vlogging? Because I think she's just using the family vlog. Yeah, she. But not the also. Happy Sleep well, I mean, channel. She, she became a mom. Right? So yeah, with two really kids. Two. I have another One question. Yes, okay. See, uh, uh, there are a lot of Filipino right here in UAE who would like to really start vlogs. What can you share as yeah. like a tip to them? Well, I just started vlogging, so I have no authority. <laughs> on okay. The matter, but. Um, I suppose ago, uh, it, I'll send you the, the secret is to be consistent. So if you're going to promise mm -hmm. every day, so go every day. Every day. If you're going to do twice a week, go, stick to twice outside. a week. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where you can't drop the ball, you know, because when you have this synergy going and you're, you have your audience, they expect right, yeah. that you're going to upload at a certain time on a certain day. Um, so I say just aim for consistency and not for viralism, I suppose. That would be my advice. Okay, ah, right. It's so important to be to grow an audience because it's actually easy to go viral. Yeah, that's right. true. You know, just jump off of a building and land in a bunch of feathers, so you'll go viral for sure. <laughs> but it's a matter of building that audience that's faithful, yeah. that, you know, stayed with you over a year or six mm -hmm. months, right? Yeah. Those are the ones you want to keep. Yeah. Can you still remember who is your first subscriber? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but there are subscribers that still follow the videos the now, since yes. the first viral, yeah. It's, it's and nice. and they're no longer teenagers, they're like married with kids. Mm -hmm. and so And yeah. they're always changing. So that's another thing too. Mm -hmm. Over time, you build this loyalty that even though their reasons for watching YouTube changes as they get older, like they're uh -huh. not teeny boppers anymore, they're like parents, uh -huh. they still have that connection to you, so they watch your videos. You know, that's the kind of viewers you yeah. really think. Um, as an influencer, uh, what do you want your followers to take from what you do? How do you want to influence them? Um, well, I guess it's uh, the overlying message is to be proud of who you are and do what you want. That's really, that's it. That was my secret. And I think that's the message we try to spread in our vlogs. Just be yourself and do what you want to do. Right? Take all risks, yeah, burn all bridges, no plan B. I like this. Wow, this is we need this. You can give it to them. Because this is not waterproof. We found that out in uh, Los Angeles recently when we were going down the waterproof thing. And then it, everyone's recommending that we collaborate with vlogs here in Dubai. Um, oh, you know yeah, 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 we know him. Yeah. What do you think awesome. is your most. Um, Funny um, video that you have created. Oh man, um, I'm not sure. There's so many. Like each one of them, we put a lot of work into each, and they're like each my baby. So you're making me choose among my favorite children. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I have, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed the Filipino mythical creatures, oh, rap, which I did. Okay. I, like I like that because we created it from the music up. It wasn't a parody and all the costumes and we shot that all in a day like from 5 a.m to like 2 a.m at night in in like the jungle of laguna you know so it was so really cool and even the prosthetics we used was so it took two hours to do every costume like i would fall asleep and then wake up as a thick <laughs> yeah. so good memories and i enjoyed that video not only because it was funny but because the process of making it was fun
You have to record that. <laughs> so what can you say about Dubai? Dubai is beautiful too. Um, which is more beautiful? Mm. It's hard to say because there are more... Okay, this is the way I see it. Dub Doha is smaller, so it has less environments than Dubai. Like where we're staying, there's that area. What's it called? Riga. Riga. Yes, there's Riga, which is its own thing. And then there's the creek, which is another thing. And then there's like where the hotels are downtown with the skyscrapers. That's another thing. Yeah. Doha doesn't have that. So it's kind of like a different kind of beauty. It's, you can't compare the two. Yeah. They're not the same. But Dubai is the best. But maybe if you compare like New York and Dubai, yeah. then sorry then... New Yorkers, maybe Dubai <laughs> is more beautiful. I don't know. Always moving. So after this, we go to Manila, and then we shoot some commercials. We have uh, YouTube Fan Fest. This year, I'll be hosting it. YouTube Fan Fest is kind of like uh, it's like a Woodstock for YouTubers. So they fly major yeah. YouTubers to Manila. Oh, that's great. Um, like Superwoman. Do you guys know who that is? She's coming. Um, other YouTubers like who's oh, coming? Alex Wasabi, Laura Lordi, the flying from California, and it's gonna be a big, big concert. And we're hosting it. I'll be performing too. We did it last year. And wow, it's amazing! Five thousand people show up. It sells out in three minutes. The show. Wow. Um, and then after that, we're going to Hong Kong to do a concert for Filipinos there. DC. Yeah. <laughs> And then maybe US again. We just came back from US. We did a concert in Texas. Your Pinoy boy Mikey Booster is here and I hope to see you at the concert in Dito, sa Dubai at Sheikh Rashid Auditorium. Um, you can buy tickets at all UAE exchange locations everywhere. So I think they're at every metro station, right? Yes. So I hope to see you there. It's going to be a big party. Bring the family, even if you have non Pinoy friends. It's it's a lot of it is in English. They can understand the money. So come, it'll be a, a party, a show like you've never seen before. Yeah, I went there. What are your names? Yeah, uh, Flora Hotel. You know Papai. To see you there. I'm making things of take selfies, huh? Oh my god, they have Mongo. Yes. This is Mongo, right? Yes. Mongo. <laughs> Mongo. You know what's his favorite? Sardinas, not available in ano? Sardinas, favorite kasi ni boss ano? Oh, oh. Ay, para sa iyo. Para sa Oh, <laughs> <laughs>